Are you sure my light would scare away the squid? <coughs> what? Are you sure my light would scare away the squid? What do you mean? My my bright, this one. Oh, I can't see, Bobby. Turn it off. Uh -huh. Oh, oh. No. No. Why would you? Well, I I can barely see you guys. Well, that's your fault, not ours. What? And we can't see you either. That's not a problem. <laughs> mm. Run your flashlight off, Reginald. What are you? Oh, no. I don't know how to work this thing. Just hit it! There it went off. So, um... Yes, we're still waiting for the squid. Yep. Um... I, I don't... Everything should be, uh... Should be in order. I'm not sure what's taking the squid so long. Uh, usually they're pretty on time. Yes, and there's got to be thousands of them out here. You'd right. Think one of them would walk over here by now. But... Certainly. Mm. And you can certainly smell the uh, mating fluids everywhere. Oh, yes. Throughout the forest. Yes, well, as I was saying before, I really enjoy the, the scent of it, personally. Right, of course. Uh, mm. Um, uh, well, uh, I'm going to go check the trap. Uh, right, right. Just to make sure that everything is, is perfect. Yes. So, That's a good idea. I'm going into the squid zone. Yes. Right. Turn your light off, Reginald. Well, right. That's all right. <clears throat> um, so, um, <clears throat> while Horace is off checking the trap, um, I'll just explain uh, a few more things about the squid. Um, first of all, um, they're very dangerous. They're silent killers. They kind of creep up, uh, and you, you don't really hear them until it's far too late. And, uh, they have one main killing tentacle, and, uh, this killing tentacle is, uh, full of bar barbs and, uh, um, uh, huh? what, what, what was that? Uh, uh, don't film that. Right. Uh, what? Uh, don't worry about it. I anyway, didn't see what happened. Um, the the, te the rending tentacle has bobs and such on it. And, um, uh, Horace, please. What? Uh, anyway, um, the rending tentacle kind of it likes to cut into the into the midsection. And, uh, it just guts people. And the, shouldn't we help them? Spills the guts everywhere. Um, should we? Oh, my God. Turn the light off. Just turn it off. Just turn the light off. It'll be fine. Um, it'll be fine. Uh, anyway, uh, so, um, um, what? What happened? Uh, Horace. Um. Oh God, do you think? I think we better check on him. Um, mm. See if he's around here somewhere. Um, oh my god! Oh my god. Oh god. Um. Um, right. That's the last anyone ever heard or saw of Horace and Reginald. Later, authorities found a, a windbreaker and a bloodstained scarf at the scene of the... It was Horace and Reginald's intention that, like any other episode, this one be shown in as close to its entirety as possible.
I know they would have wanted it that way. Horace and Reginald's will stated in it that all of their funds and estates should go towards preserving their legacy and the care of their cat, Muffy. In this will, I was designated as caretaker of Muffy. And thus, to preserve their legacy and Muffy's, I'm embarking on a new feature film entitled Muffy vs. the Dogs that will debut next fall. Tonight's closing credits are a special tribute that I made to honor Horace and Reginald. But before then, I have to close the final chapters in the Annals of Hunting Nature. And bid you good night and adieu. Are the gates of heaven. What are your names? My name is Reginald Oppenheimer. My name is Horace Jenkins, and this is Hunting Nature. <laughs>